It's the 8th of July. I'm Jerusha Sukthia Rath, and you're watching News 24 Live. A KZN family has opened its 20 hectare farm to 143 foreign nationals, including children who were displaced during the recent xenophobic attacks. Andrew and Ray Wartonby from Hope Farm in Cato Ridge told News 24 they were heartbroken when they heard the Itaquini municipality was closing the single remaining camp for displaced foreigners in Chatsworth last week. The couple spent the weekend speaking to lawyers and offering up their farm. The Wharton Bees are appealing to the public for help. They urgently need mattresses and blankets. Religious groups are involved in relief efforts for the foreign nationals. Mediators in the UN are expected to be involved this week in talks to determine how long the guests will remain on the private farm. Czech fugitive Radovan Kreja and four others accused of killing Lebanese national Sam Isa will return to court today to continue their bail applications. The four are accused of murdering Isa in October 2013 and other charges, including the illegal possession of weapons and ammunition, robbery with aggravating circumstances and theft. He was shot more than 30 times in his Audi while at an intersection in Bedford View. At least 25 people were killed on Tuesday when a bomb went off through a government office in northern Nigeria. The suspected suicide attack is likely to be blamed on the Boko Haram Islamist group. The explosion occurred in the town of Zaria at about 9 a.m. as primary school teachers and public sector workers were queuing for identity checks. Yesterday, witnesses said a female suicide bomber blew herself up near a military checkpoint in um, northeastern, the Borneo state rather, in northeastern Nigeria. More news on News 24 Live.